Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a new video talking about products and also using them, kind of like a make makeup tutorial, but I'm using and talking about products that you definitely need if you are a brown skin girl or guy. I've mentioned a ton of high-end and drugstore products that I think is amazing, especially that are very good for brown skin, any shade of brown skin, even if you're not brown skin, you probably could take from this video, but this is very focused for um, that brown skin tone range. I feel like we do get left out sometimes. Not left out, but we don't have much of an option in terms of tones, colour, and products that really work for, that skin, with, for our skin without making us look ashy. Yeah, I just thought this would be a really good video to do. It was actually Hannah, one of my subscribers, who mentioned it in my video, my last video. So I thought, why not do this video? Because it sounds like a good idea. Um, so thank you, Hannah, for recommending this. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of other brown YouTubers that have done this video. Some of my favourite brown YouTubers are um, Nabella Noor, uh, Deepika. Deepika's really, really sweet. And she's created this whole... Um, kind of like new platform or page called Live Live Tinted and I don't know there's so many exciting things for us brown people out there so definitely check Deepika out I, I oh my god you guys need to check out Sabina Hanan she's around my skin tone so she has amazing videos um Irene um is also a really sweet um, youtuber I really like her and then there's also Limitless BWL she is like more on the tan side but she's amazing Aisha Begum, oh my god, I love Aisha Begum, you know, she's like a sis. Oh, there's Niri, Niri's really sweet as well, I'm really sorry if I've forgotten any, but I'll try and write more in the info box. If you are brown, check these bloggers out, because they're amazing, and I think that's all I have to say, I feel like I'm blabbering already, and this video is already long enough. Definitely let me know if you want to see more videos like this, and we'll jump straight into it. I'm just going to tie my hair up. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start off is, oh, I'm out of breath. That's why I, I got up the stairs too many times before I film. My lips are dry AF. But anyways, I was just using some of this lip oil by NYX. This stuff is really, really good and affordable. So for my brows, I have a few products in front of me. So for every product, I will show you high-end and drugstore versions of each of all them because, you know, I think that's important because a lot of my favourites are high-end because obviously they're just good. But there's also drugstore dupes that are just as good and affordable, you know? My favourite, favourite, favourite brow products, like if I'm going out, I'm going to be using these two. So it's the um, Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. This stuff is like glue for your eyebrows, but it's not hard or it doesn't go like white and crumbs off this stuff's good and I also love my precisely my brow pencil by benefit this is what they look like and I use the brow pencil in shade 6 if you want a really really good drugstore brow pencil then definitely get the soap and glory brow archery pencil in dark chocolate is especially if you've got dark hair get dark chocolate it's so good it's it's such a good brow pencil I've literally got all my friends on it very similar to this benefit one so precise but half the price and then i've also got this elf um brow tint gel thing this is super affordable but it's so good at really defining each and every hair making your brows look super like fluffy and bushy and you know very natural so i'm gonna be changing it up today i'm gonna be using the benefit brow pencil and the elf brow gel Just in this elf brow gel has a super precise um, brush you just have to be super light handed with it because a lot of product does come out there is a clear one if you guys don't want a tint i'm telling you this brow gel is so good and this one's in the shade dark the brows done you guys know i love to um carve my brows out I usually use the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer Golden. I don't have it right now with me. Um, so today I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C12. And it looks like this. I'm going to put the But they look flicky, don't they? Look, every time I use these brow products, my brows look so good. But anyways, 
I am now going to use some primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I have to say by far this is like one of my favourite primers along with the Smashbox Primerizer. Um, those two primers are so good. They're just really nice. They just... You feel like it, you feel like it's doing something. The Smashbox one is very hydrating. So if you want a hydrating primer, then definitely get that one. And this one, this Fenty Beauty one, it's still like kind of... It's like a lotion. But it just like... It creates such a nice like tacky base for your makeup to go onto. I love it. I know that I love my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. If you got brown skin girl, you need this, okay? I'm telling you. This foundation is so good, I can't emphasize enough. Most of the people that I've talked to about this foundation love this foundation. It just makes you have this flawless base. It mattifies but not too much. It's, it's just a natural flawless base and it's very comfortable very long wearing they've got 40 shades i mean do you know what like this is definitely the foundation of 2017 for me like this foundation is so good i do love the um huda beauty um faux filter foundation in brown sugar by the way i'm 330 in the fenty one this is very very full coverage but i love the color i love the way it makes my skin look it can be for very very full coverage and very heavy not everyone loves this one but definitely give try it out like give it a try before you purchase it get a sample try it out i personally like it that's why i'm sharing it with you guys but i've seen some people that don't like it i've seen some people say it separates but on me it doesn't really do that i've worn it like three three to four times now and i don't know it's been working well so i'm going to be using this one um today in brown sugar Oh, and also some people hate the smell. Like it literally smells like straight up perfume. But for me, like I don't, I love kind. I kind of love smells. These are very strong, but I don't know. I just really like it. I love. You see, like the end result. Like I just love it, and I just feel like I had. I can't include. I'm a huge fan of Huda Beauty, but nevertheless, like if I like a product. Um, I'm gonna obviously keep using it and use it in my videos. I actually don't even need that much. Some people put a ton of this foundation on and then it separates and then they don't like the foundation. I can see ve two very deep, you know when you get those blemishes? those spots but they are coming from within like deep within your skin like your epidermis layers underneath underneath the epidermis layers almost almost just on top of the skull bone this is what's happening i've got one there and one there and i actually don't know what to do in my life right now they're both coming out at the same time <sighs> thing is i need some color corrector let me quickly talk about color corrector before i move on to talking about the other drugstore um foundation so i really love the la girl Pro HD conceal, uh, concealer, this is the orange one, and I really like this matte conceal and correct duo in pure orange and ochre, right, but I'm going to use the matte one today. Foundations that I really love that are drugstore, and if you have brown skin, they have a good like range for brown skin is the uh, ordinary coverage foundation this foundation has got really nice foundation colors for brown skin especially they have different tones they have white yellow tones and pink tones um and it's a good very very good affordable foundation so yeah definitely that one um i also love the nyx total control drop foundation that is a good one as well and then i also like the la girl pro coverage foundation Pro HD foundation, they've got such long names, but I don't have it with me. I use a shade tan in that one. By the way, the ordinary foundation I use 2.1Y, and the NYX one I use caramel. But again, I'll, I'll write everything in the info box, guys. As always, doesn't that look so flawless? I really like this foundation. That's color corrector done and foundation done. Now on to concealer. Guys, I don't care where you are in the world. Even even if you're how old you are, you can even ask your parents to buy this concealer for you. 
because it's so affordable. And it's the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Concealer. I use C10 and C12, they're four pounds, very similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Um, guys, it's just such a good concealer, I love it so much. Um, I first use C12 by itself, under my eyes. And I do mix some of C10 in it, just to kind of like brighten it, warm it up a bit. C10 is like a nice warm yellowy toned shade. So you guys know I love me to some Tarte Shape Tape as well. And don't get me wrong, I still use it, even though the whole scandal with them, you know. Like, that concealer is so good. It's so, so good. I just feel like, um... Tarte probably needs to reevaluate their shades and try to improve it and probably learn from the experience that they had. I'm not gonna show it in this video. I don't know. I don't know if I. I still. I think I use them in my tutorials still. Some YouTubers have chosen to just use this Makeup Revolution one and not use the Tarte Shape Tape one again anymore. But it's still such a good concealer. Like, it's like definitely this Makeup Revolution one and the Tarte one is my are my two favorites. So if I'm ha if I have a special occasion or anything, I I just only reach for these two concealers. I need a new sponge. Okay, so once that's done. I want to show you guys quickly a highlighter that I really like. Um, it's the Bobbi Brown Retouching One in Medium. This stuff is so good. Um, it's basically a little sponge. It's very similar to the Maybelline Age Wine. You twist it and product comes out. I want to show you how. It's just like this perfect highlight shade. I love it. My neighbours are having this party and they're making so much noise outside. So apologies if you hear noise. I mean that's just usual in my videos. You know, if you'll follow mine, you know that. This Bobbi Brown retouching one, I wouldn't recommend right close to your lash line because it does have the tendency to crease. Um, so yeah, I just use it as highlight only and it's just so nice. Blends like a dream. Um, now on to quickly contouring. Guys, my favourite, um, I do like to contour with foundation, with concealer, it really depends. But my favourite ones that I've used so much are the Ma uh, Fenty Beauty Matchsticks specifically suede and espresso they're like the perfect contour shades for a brown girl or guy i also really 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 like the um urban decay naked skin shapeshifter palette you have everything you need your color corrector a highlight um contour shades and then you've got your powders this highlight is actually really pretty it's like a really nice gold one yeah i've used this a lot like i love this palette but today i'm going to use my fenty one because that's the one i've used so much and i love so much they just blend so nicely i also do it around my nose i have a really weird shaped nose so it's kind of hard for me to contour sometimes I'm going to use a buffing brush. You can use a sponge or whichever, but I'm just wanting. I'm just in the mood for brushes today. But look how easy they're blending. I really like to blend the bronzer contour shades into my hairline. You know, so you don't get any lines or whatever. I'm kind of an existent jawbone now, you know? I went from potato to chiseled. Getting this brush to blend this edge up. Okay, just make sure that your concealers blend before you start using powder. So now onto powder. I have two very favourites of mine lately, especially. My favourites change with time, like if I discover more products that are really good then obviously they change but these are the ones that have been working amazing for me. Um, so first is the Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder um, and this is, this is just the translucent one and this is the LA Girl Pro Powder, the banana powder. Guys, I've used this too so much, this one I'm almost done with, both so good. I'm going to be using the... 
LA Go one today. I love the LA Go one. I dip my sponge into the powder, top off the excess, and then just press this onto my concealer. And on top of the lids. Just brush that off. Just underneath my contour. So before we finish off the face, we're gonna move on to the eyes. Now, my favorite stuff for the eyes at the moment is the um, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I love these eyeshadows so much. I also really like the Makeup Revolution Flawless 4 palette. This is definitely an eyeshadow palette you need. It's so, so affordable and it's got amazing colors in there. I actually love this palette. It's one of my favorite Makeup Revolution palettes. And then um, with this Huda Beauty one, like you've got, I feel like for brown skin, um, with all shades of brown warm tones are so beautiful on our skin so this has nice oranges reds warm browns you've also got some like really pretty like shades here it does look like a really artistic palette which i think that's what she was meant to do but you can really create everyday looks with this still so i think i'm going to use this one because i have used this in a tutorial before so i'll link a video i'll link the video where i use this i'm going to try and do a subtle look with this palette today and show you guys what it's capable of so i'm first going to show go in with the shade blazing which is a super bright orange is this going to be an everyday look i have no idea but i want to show you guys how good these eyeshadows are the only thing i wish that was in this palette was like a mustard yellow like mustard yellow eyeshadows go so well on our skin it's like one of my, if you check out my previous tutorial, it's like so nice. Just grab a clean brush and just blend the edges. Now I'm going to grab some of Oud. I always do the same look guys, I feel like I do. One thing that I've really, really been loving is the um, e.l.f. Um, eye liquid eyeshadow. This is the one in brush copper. This stuff, oh my god, you need it. Look, watch this. I just had to include this in this video because it's just so, so beautiful. You can just put it all over your lid for every day or, you know, just have it like this and just blend the edges. It does dry very quickly and once it's dry, it will not budge. But I think that is really good. Do another quick lay in the center. Make sure it blends. I wish you could see this in a real person because the camera is definitely not picking it up. But it's just this beautiful, beautiful color. A little bit of a sparkle, I'm gonna grab Celestial. Sorry, Celestial, this one's Celestial on top just to make that center pop you know some of the eyeshadows i do have to say in this palette work better on top of the other eyeshadows rather than by themselves and definitely this celestial is one of them now in terms of eyeliner i've got two here i've got one high end and one drugstore i have been dying for this kat von d tattoo liner liquid eyeliner in mad max brown this stuff is so good. I definitely need to pick up the black one in this. And I also absolutely love my Rimmel Glam Eyes eyeliner in black. This is so precise. You just can't mess up with your eye on your eyeliner with this one. I'm going to be using this Kat Von D one because it's just so gorgeous. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see how well it works. And it's got a super, super precise brush. And then for cold pencil, I've really been loving this one by Clinique. This, this is their cold cardial pencil in black and black, and it's just like this. 
underneath and on top as well and for mascara you guys know I absolutely love my Maybelline Lash Sensational So I have been loving my Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes. These have been my favorite lately. I'm using the Samantha lid because I've lost the lid for Scarlet, but these ones are so good. Like the only thing with Huda Beauty Lashes is that they can be break very easily, like very easily. So you have to be gentle with them. They are so nice to wear and like not heavy, lightweight, and they look amazing. But I also love these ones by Classy Lashes UK. This is Claudia. Like, I've always loved Claudia. Like, these are my... When I first got into wearing lashes, this, these were the ones that I wore all the time. But today I'm going to be using my Scarlet ones because I love them. I was sent a bunch of stuff from Huda Beauty, but this glue... I've always wanted to try it, but this glue is so good. So good. Like, it stays on all day. It does not even come off. And they don't, like, rip your lashes out when you pull them off. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to first use a brush and brush off all the excess of this powder that we've had on our face. Especially under the eyes. Bronzer palette by Maybelline. If you don't have this, go to the shops, go Super Drugs or Boots, get it now. Because this palette is so good. You've got your bronzer, which is such a beautiful bronzer. A super beautiful blush and a stunning highlight. I don't really use this, but you can use it as a blush. This is the um, blusher. And this is the highlight. It's just such a good palette and it's super affordable. But I'm going to be using the bronzer shade, which I have obviously used a lot. Like, there's a dent in it. So if you guys can see that. I love this. I'm just going to bronze with this and you can't go wrong with this palette because it's so like the bronzer is like so subtle like you can see it but it's so blendable like, even if you do make a mistake you can just like brush it off and I'm also going to grab this shade here from the Urban Decay palette this one right here and I'm going to contour slightly with that it's always good to um um what was I going to say? It's always good to set your cream contour. But take a little bit of this powder, like a little bit. And just... I mean, you don't have to go all out like I do. Like, I just love contouring. And then use some of the light powder and just... The blush in this palette is really nice because it's got that peachy tint to it but if you are looking for a nice blush this one i use it in a lot of my tutorials but this one by um, la girl is this beautiful peach color it's literally everything i love it so much then we are going to put some highlight now I, you guys know i love my highlights so i've got a few here now drugstore too high end the high end ones I'm going to use one high end and one drugstore. This Bobbi Brown highlighting powder and bronze glow is the shiz. Look at that. No sparkly chunks. And this one by Jouer in Skinny Dip is like the perfect gold shade. And again, let me... It's a bit lighter, but it's very very smooth and i love this one and for drugstore i've got two i've got the primark one in the pure glow highlighter in champagne glow this one is stunning you see it? and this new this is a new one by kiko this is their um glow fusion highlighter in 2.0 this one is like literally a dupe for the jouet one like it's so soft I know I want to do the Jouer, so let's do the Jouer one. And I think I'm going to use the, the Primark one just to show you guys. Can you just see that guys? I'm living. 
oh my god I can't wait to get my hands on the Morphe Bretman Rock um, highlight palette I'm just gonna put some of like the shades underneath my lash line like from the Huda Beauty palette okay I'm also gonna take some of the Kiko highlight and just highlight my inner corners with this oh no let's first talk about lip liner let's put lip liner first I really really like these two so this Primark one um, this is the shade Incog Incognito it's a super pretty it's a super pretty brown shade and it's very creamy I love this one it's so affordable and obviously you guys know that I love my MAC cork that's very similar to this is LA Girl True Brown or even NYX Brown if you have brown skin any shade of brown skin you need these brown lip liners and obviously if you're any other skin tone but these for our skin tone brown lip liners are so 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 beautiful and I just have so many of them um, and then I have a ton of lipsticks that I want to show you guys but before I do I just want to show you guys these two so first of all this Slay All Day by Lottie London in the shade Boss so pretty but it's not that long wearing and this black up one, I'm almost done with this. And this is the shade 22M, it's their matte lip crayon. <sighs> These two are such pretty peachy brown shades, but they just don't last long on the lips. Like they fade so easily. So when I wear these, I definitely need to carry it with me. Some good long wearing ones that I absolutely love. First of all, if you want like a nice pinky um, brownie shade, then this NYX lingerie in cabaret show is beautiful okay, this anastasia lipstick in liquid lipstick in ashton no if you no, you need this in your makeup collection if you brown okay absolutely love this um rimmel stay matte in mocha i use them in a lot of my tutorials it's just such a long wearing shade and it's a beautiful beautiful color it makes your lips so plump as well look so plump i mean I absolutely love um, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Trendsetter and also Girlfriend. Recent tutorial, this one is so, so, so long wearing. It's in the shade Fighter 75. It's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in their new colour, Fighter. Oh, it's like this wooden brown shade. I love it. Do you know what? I'm going to try and do an updated version of my um, brown girl lip video. But today I'm going to be using this Anastasia one. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't even know how long it's going to be. My mess is, my hair's a wreck, I swear it is. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I actually had a lot of fun doing this one. This is just like my classic look. Like I love this. I do a halo and eye a lot. But I genuinely believe these products that I've mentioned in this video are really good if you have brown, any shade of brown, skin tone, even if you are not brown, like they will probably still work for you, but if, especially if you have brown skin, tan brown skin, caramel skin, I don't even know, like anything in the brown range, then you will love these products. I absolutely love every single thing that I've mentioned and I just felt like I had to do this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more like brown girl videos, let me know in the comments. I am happy, happy, happy to do them. So yeah, thanks for watching. I love you.